This is EasyOSX, and today I'm showing you how to set up autocomplete in your terminal app. To show you what this looks like on a Mac that already has the setup, as you type a command, you'll see options below for what command you might be typing. By hitting the down arrow, you'll be able to highlight the first option, and then select between them by hitting the arrow keys on your keyboard, and continue typing from there. To use this, we'll need to install the ZSH autocomplete formula using Brew. You can see it here on the Brew formula page. You'll need Homebrew installed first, so if you haven't already, make sure to install that first. I'll have a link to that tutorial in the description and in the corner. When Brew is installed, copy the command from the website or type in brew space install space zsh dash autocomplete. Hit enter and it'll start downloading and installing the autocomplete formula. It's a fairly small package, so it shouldn't take too long. Once it has finished, you're not quite done yet. There's this installation section that gives you some details at the top about what you need to do to enable it. For our purposes, we just need to add this line below number one to our .zshrc file, which is basically like a settings and startup file for our terminal. I talked about this a little more in my auto suggestions video, which I'll link to like before. So check that out if you want a little more details. But suffice to say, we'll need to create it if it hasn't been already. You can check this by typing open space tilde forward slash period zshrc. When you hit enter, it will either open the file if it was created, or you'll get this error about the file not existing like I did here. If you watched my last video where I already had a zshrc at the end, I deleted it just for this video. That won't necessarily be the case in future ones. Anyway, to create the file we need, type touch space tilde forward slash period zshrc and hit enter to create the file. And if I had remembered the tilde, that would help out a lot. Now it's created the file. You can use the open command, just like we did a moment ago, to bring up the file in our default text editor. And then we can copy and paste the command the formula has listed into the file. Then I'll just hit command S to save the file and close the text editor. By the way, if you're wondering where the search file is, I'll show you that. I'll open up this finder window here. It's actually here in this user folder, but it's a hidden file. That's what the period at the beginning of the file name does in macOS. By hitting command shift period on my keyboard, I can toggle showing and hiding hidden files in finder. And by scrolling, I can see there's my search file hidden away. Now back to our terminal app. Well, actually not for long because we need to restart our terminal app to finish the installation. And I'll minimize the Safari window. I've been bad about that lately. Now I'll restart the terminal. And as you can see, as I type, it starts making recommendations trying to autocomplete commands. Now brew being a third party function doesn't show up by default. But if I start typing commands within brew, the autocomplete function will start suggesting commands built into brew itself. Note that your mileage may vary on third party commands. This is really better for ones built into macOS. For comparison, if I start typing in, say, the software update command, you see it starts recommending the commands far more quickly. And it's not necessarily just the order of the letters, but things that are similar, like SFTP and sort. I can select an item by hitting the down arrow and then left or right, and the command will be filled up above without me having to type anything. Though if you do hit enter accidentally trying to select a command, then it'll try to run it. But at least from here, it'll help you more quickly type in your commands. There are also keyboard commands on the developer's GitHub page that let you more quickly select commands from the list and sort through options. If you intend to use this feature to its fullest, I highly recommend reading through that documentation. But other than that, that's how you set up autocomplete in your terminal. Thank you all so much for watching. If this video helped you out, then give it a like. It'll really help the channel out. Likewise, if you want more Mac, iOS, and other Apple tips, tricks, and advice, you can subscribe to the channel. You can also check out the website easyosx.net as well as the social media pages. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll catch you next time.